Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we will design a dead zone circuit using the multisim tool. Before going into this tutorial, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. In this design, we will be using an op-amp in order to design a dead zone circuit which only passes the upper one volt portion of positive half cycle of a sine wave input with a peak voltage of 3 volt. You can refer to this particular design calculation for your reference purpose. Now let us simulate the design using multisim tool. Now click on analog component, select all groups and in the component section search for LM741H. Click on that particular component and place this on the schematic window. Now right click on this particular component and click on flip vertically. So once this particular component is flipped which is according to our design purpose. Now click on place diode and now Select all groups and search for 1N4148 diode and place this on the schematic window. Place two diodes as shown in this particular tutorial. Now once the diode has been placed in this schematic now select the group as basic and we have to place the resistor in our design so click on resistor and in the component section search for 3.9 kilo ohm resistor and click ok place this particular resistor on the schematic window so this would be the r1 resistor we have to similarly place 3 3.9 kilo ohm resistor in the schematic window now we have to search for 1.2 kilo ohm resistor and place this particular 1.2 kilo ohm resistor on the schematic window. Next select the group as sources and we have to place the uh, ground connection in the schematic. So place the appropriate ground connections as shown in this tutorial. Next, we have to select the signal voltage source, select the AC voltage and place this particular voltage source on the schematic window. Once we have placed the AC voltage source, we have to place the DC power source on the schematic window. So place this particular source accordingly. Next, we have to place the supply voltage for the op-amp LM741. Now connect the negative terminal of supply voltage V1 to the ground and the positive terminal to the resistor R2. Connect the resistor R4 to the ground and the other end of resistor to the terminal 3 of op-amp. Connect the resistor R2 to the terminal 2 of the op-amp. Next, connect the DC power source that is V2 to the ground and to the 
resistor. Connect the supplies that is VSS and VDD to the terminal number 4 and terminal number 7 and the output of op-amp to diode D2 and the diode D1 is connected to the terminal 6 of the op-amp. Connect the resistor R1 to resistor R3 and from resistor R3 to the diode D2. Connect the resistor R3 to the terminal 2 of the op-amp and the other end of diode D1 to the resistor R3 and resistor R2 and connect the resistor R1 to resistor R3. Now double click on the supply voltage source to the op-amp and make this as minus 15 volt and plus 15 volt. Double click on the V1 signal voltage source and define the peak voltage as 3 volt and the DC power source as 2 volt. Now click on simulate, click on install. Now place the oscilloscope on the schematic window. Connect the channel A of the oscilloscope to the output and the negative terminal to the ground. The negative terminal of channel B is connected to the ground and the positive terminal of the channel B is connected to the input of the circuit. Now run this particular simulation, double click on the oscilloscope. Now you can see the output of this particular circuit. Now let us do one thing, let us do the transient analysis. So click on analyze and simulation. Instead of interactive simulation, we will go for the transient analysis. Before that we have to see what are the net name values. One is net name 7 and the other one is net name 1. So go to simulate and select analyze and simulation click on transient and click on output select v7 add select v1 add click on run you can see the transient analysis of this particular circuit. So we have designed a dead zone circuit which pass only the upper 1 volt portion of the positive half cycle of the sine wave input with a peak value of 3 volt. Now if we change the V reference voltage to 0 then the complete portion of positive half cycle of the sine wave input of peak voltage of 3 volt appears. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.